Protests on UW Madison's campus are similar to those around the country in which demonstrators are clashing with police. Pro-Palestinian protesters have been camped out on campus since Monday, and today law enforcement tried to remove their encampments. Now, in the process, 34 people were arrested. Now, injuries have been reported by students, and one law enforcement officer was hurt, including a Wisconsin State Trooper. Things got a little tense this morning, and they, they, we, we hoped that uh, it would have been a little more peaceful uh, than it became. Um, but we came here to ensure Chapter 18, the, the tenting policy was in force. And uh, that's what happened this morning. And uh, we are grateful that our protesters are still here and they are exercising their First Amendment right. Um, and we will continue to be here to make sure they are safe and they can safely do so. A UW-Madison professor was also one of those injured during today's protest. Charged me, especially, they, they basically um, pointing at me and um, and said him bring him and uh, and um, so I was targeted and I think it's racially motivated. Um, I'm the only Palestinian professor. UW Madison's chancellor expressed interest in speaking with the demonstrators, but they said they won't do that unless the student body can have a seat at the table.